Let's roll. Southern bound for Southern Trout. Some would say the perfect trout water is a limestone stream full of nutrients, bugs, and goodies that the trout just love. Others would say it's a cold tailwater, cold and refreshing like a Rocky Mountain stream all year long. But the truth is, perfect trout water is a combination of both. And for that type of water, we loaded up the Rob too and headed south. From the Keystone State to the wild and wonderful state, passing through the land for lovers and the home of Rocky Top, we journeyed to the land of the Smokies. Do you have a hit? Fish on! Oh, that's a nice brookie. Yeah, that may be a wild boy. Nice, looks like a wild brookie. Nice size fish too. Rainbow dubbed waltz. Got one, nice. Blake's got a good one on. Ned is ready. You might have you a nice brownie on there. What are you fishing on the bottom? Um, a I think that's a brown. Sexy waltz. Yeah, mine's the rainbow dub sexy. I think that's a brown. Where'd it go? Upstream on you? I got him if you can. Nice brown, nice brown. That's a nice brown. Nice brown, nice brown. Oh shoot. Where'd he go? Shoot, nice brown. Good lord. Goodness gracious. Oh, 
Better. Holy Can't smokes! What a way to start out! Holy smokes! We'll, we'll work on that netting throughout the weekend. I, I, uh, <laughs> holding too many, uh... That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, dude. For the water, look, he's fat! Woo. That might be the biggest... That's a good brown! <laughs> Lord, that might be the biggest of the here. trip right there already. Bring him over here. This thing eat mine for lunch. He is big, dude. Is he fat? What a fish. What a fish. Yes, sir. Holy cow. That's a good one. That's a good one. Blake and I are back at it. We are down here in the south hitting some, what you might call perfect water. A combination of limestone and being a tailwater. So he just landed a heck of a nice wild brown, big old fish. So we're gonna get after it, but stick around. We're gonna be fishing for quite a few days. About, yeah, maybe a little bigger than the one I caught. Does that get the sexy waltz too again? Yeah. I'm sensing the change too. Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> we got it. You're right. He caught a beauty. Huh. <laughs> All right, it's your time. You have fun. Yeah, it's starting to rise. You can just hear it. Yeah, you could totally oh. hear it. Oh, <sighs> Which is cool. That was a good fish. That was a good one. Probably. Well, well we got to measure the net. Probably somewhere between 16 and 18. Every bit of over two pounds. He's a hefty little guy. He doesn't skip legs. That was a hefty guy, absolutely, it was. Yep, and he hit that top rainbow dub waltz. They're higher in the column, apparently. Little beautiful bow, there it goes. Drop shot with the black plague on the bottom. So they're down, they're hugging that bottom, must be pretty good. Man, he's feisty. All right, so I went to a drop shot method there and with about, oh, eight, nine inches above it, uh, a black plague and got it down really low and slow and it, that worked. So we'll see if it keeps working.
on the swing. Little, little rainbow. Thank you. All right, so drop shot. I got a lively legs. I got a drop shot on the bottom. Lively legs with uh, Rainbow Warrior, I believe, with the white legs on top. Nothing's hit that. And I have a drop shot at the bottom with a black play. And it, it's working, getting it low and slow, it, it's working. And this, this water's pushing at about 800 CFS, a little over 800. So it's not easy, but it does work. here at the lodge where we're staying at here along the uh, river gonna get some uh, lunch had a pretty successful morning got so oh, maybe 14 to the net something like that so yeah something like that I believe got a, a one or two more than I got but uh, had some success this this morning right off was just BAM so that was really cool so and that big brown was just flat out awesome so anyway we're gonna keep hitting this river gonna have some lunch here and we'll get right back after it There's one already. That little wild rainbow. Oh, uh, we got a double. <laughs> little doubling, little doubling. Better one, got a little brownie. Brown. Nice. Yeah. Oh, she's at the fish. I felt like I snagged. She's 
shoot. I can't be him at an angle. Man, that was like I snagged in there. That was a brute. Go brown. What's that? A real stock one. There you go. We got the touch today. Oh, that's a nice one. done behind the lodge yeah thanks for the booking dad <laughs> thanks for booking thanks for telling let me know i could cook all this in our at our lodge <laughs> how to catch it up Back here at the lodge this evening, we had a, a pretty good day. Caught somewhere, well, Blake caught more than I did. We were probably somewhere maybe north of, uh, or somewhere around 15 plus fish. But it's an interesting tailwater, this river. It's, they pipe water down through from a long ways up. And below that, it hits, it went up to 800 something within pretty, pretty much quick amount of time this morning. But we did real well right before that. And what I think we're gonna do is gonna get out early tomorrow morning and hit the river and get some time in before it rises. Once that rises, definitely the drop shot worked, but that's kind of messy to, work, to deal with. But they're in there, they're definitely in there. But it's like I said, that's kind of messy. So we went up and fished above where the water flows in and we had some block, definitely got some in there, but that was fishing kind of weird but it could have been the time of the day. So we're probably also gonna try some stuff very high up tomorrow as well. And then uh, we'll see, if that doesn't fish the greatest, we, we, we've got some wild mountain stream, a wild mountain stream that we may hit the next day. So stay tuned and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> 